All right, guys, what's going on? BSG bringing you another Grand Cross video. So we got the update and maintenance info for the 27th. Now, um, this is very interesting, right? Because this hasn't happened a lot where they uh, release back-to-back -back units. It's usually been about, you know, a two-week gap before they release units. But in this patch notes, we're actually getting um, Liz. So we're actually getting Liz tomorrow or I guess t today, wherever you live, right? But for me, it's going to be tomorrow. So, um, yeah, Liz, this is interesting. So, this is a step up banner. Um, right off the rip, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Do not summon for this banner uh, on this banner. Do not summon for this unit. Um, Liz, I'm going to be real. She is garbage, but her passive skill is really good for the dungeons, right? The time limited dungeon. So she is actually really good for that. But otherwise, she's just not that good. Now, here's the thing too, right? You got to remember, since it is a step up banner you are actually going to be able to do 30 gem summon and then the second step in this uh in a step up will just be one gem so um you can do it up to two steps if you're going to summon i would just say do the first step or do the first two steps my bad first two steps and then that's it just stop she's not really needed for anything but the time limited dungeons now if we do end up getting new time limited events i'm gonna be so mad i'm gonna be so irritated but um i for one am skipping this banner i might do the first multi and then the you know the one gem multi so hopefully i can get her in there but um yeah she's not really that that great uh, can we okay no it actually tells you so here's her like her setup her first skill is shatter and then her second skill is just an aoe pure damage um or not AOE, a single target pure damage so again she's not that good you could use her on the front for damage in time limited dungeons but that's it um can we click on this uh okay no we can't we can't actually click on it see i thought we could but uh yeah she's not she's not good she's not good her passive skills what what makes her uh good but uh here we go so there's gonna be two new events gila and jericho final boss are returning and then the exchange shop unhappy new year login event and i know i know you guys know what this is i don't gotta tell y'all 300 gems 300 gems yeah <laughs> so we're getting 300 gems confirmed for um our login that is going to be the happy new year login event so that is good so um very generous from Netmaru. Very, very generous. I like that they did that. It's a really cool thing that they did. Um, no one really cares about that stuff. Here's some system updates. New holy relics for Valenti and the uh oh wow, okay. So they have the same I thought theirs was different. I honestly thought that they had Oh no no no, okay, okay. I, I lied, I lied. So this isn't Mark II Valenti? What? This has to be this has to be a, a mistake. Um, because on JP, they did actually get Mark II Valenti. But we're not getting Mark II Valenti. That's weird. Okay. Did they, didn't they get Mark II Valenti on JP? Am I bugging? I, I swear, though, they did get Mark II Valenti, right? I swear they did get Mark II Valenti. But, okay, so if not, we're not getting Mark II Valenti? Weird. But, sure. So, the original Valenti, her Holy Relic is not that good um it's it's terrible uh it's uh, it's one of the worst holy relics that i've seen yet fills the hero's ultimate move gauge by four orbs when an ally dies <laughs> it's terrible it's garbage okay then we get zaratros now he is actually interesting because i think that his holy relic makes him better not like a god tier amount but it makes him better definitely makes him better so basically his passive but for pvp <laughs> like that that's it so um he is usable in pvp now i do like that they did this so hopefully in the future they could do this for a lot of other characters as well um you know that can't have their passive used in pvp like green liz for example if green liz had her passive she would be you know better because you could just run a full green team i think that would make her um really usable because if you just run her with like i don't know green merlin liz and let's say you have another green unit like um I, I don't know another strong green unit i can't think of one in my head right now zelders i don't know zelders right you could just rank up all their skills like off rip so that's gonna be really that would be really really fire but um yeah i think zaratros his holy relic is actually really good um and then here are all the stuff that'll be ending so there you go nothing too crazy this is pretty much the filler um you know update and then next week i'm assuming 
I don't know. When next week will we get the Holy War Festival? We might. Now I'm thinking about it. I think we will. I think next week we will actually get the uh, the Holy War unit. Um, JP should get the Holy War Holy War Festival unit like right here through the 29th or 30th, whatever the, the day it lands on, right? And then we'll get it a few days later. That's what I'm speculating. Unless for some reason JP, you know, JP gets uh, what you call it, nothing here, and then we share the same thing. Could happen. That could be a thing. But um, I. I'm pretty sure they're going to get the Holy War Festival like the 29th or the 30th, depending on what day it falls on. So very, very interesting stuff that's happening around here. Oh, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm very happy that the way Grand Cross is working right now, it's like they're making, they're making it more, I, I, what's the word I want to use? They're making it more fun. Is that the word? Um, I don't know. But I, I like the way they're moving right now. I, I do like the way they're moving. This is the first time in a long time that we actually got back-to-back -back characters, like new characters. So um, that's that's pretty exciting. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the step up. Let me know what you guys think about the, um, you know, the bundle and all that. Not the bundle. What am I talking about? The holy relics and, um, you know, all the stuff that will be happening with part two of the... Uh, 2.5 anniversary let me know also if you guys didn't peep the whole background of the seven deadly sins grand cross forum is black as well so they're really pushing this black back screen um agenda okay i i'm really curious to see who this is i'm actually pretty excited to see who they could be dropping but let me know who you think they're dropping down in the comments below i'm really curious but yeah with that said guys thank you so much for watching and uh yeah i'll see you all later